Civility, but barely a smile at the White House. We now are going to uh, want to do everything we can to help you succeed, because if you succeed, then the country succeeds. Please. Go well, thank you very much, President Obama. Um, this was a meeting that was going to last for maybe 10 or 15 minutes, and uh, we were just going to get to know each other. We had never met each other. Uh, I have great respect. An extraordinary show of cordiality, considering that less than 72 hours earlier, President Obama painted Donald Trump as being unhinged. Donald Trump is temperamentally unfit to be commander-in-chief. If your closest advisors don't trust you to tweet, how can you trust them with the nuclear codes? That was the night before the entire political landscape was altered. In the heat of the campaign, Trump has taken his own personal shots. Barack Obama, number one, is incompetent. He is the founder of ISIS. He's the founder of ISIS. The barbs seemingly never let up. Trump tweeting in early August, President Obama will go down as perhaps the worst president in the history of the United States. It drew this response from the president on ABC's Jimmy Kimmel Live. Well, at real Donald Trump, at least I will go down as a president. The intensely personal vitriol between Obama and Trump extends back at least five years when Trump led the charge of the birther movement, questioning whether the president was born in the U.S. Why doesn't he show his birth certificate? After President Obama finally produced a long-form birth certificate, he used it as ammunition for some acid-laced one-liners about Trump at the White House Correspondents' Dinner a few weeks later. So he can finally get back to focusing on the issues that matter. Like, did we fake the moon landing? <laughs> what really happened in Roswell? And where are Biggie and Tupac? Just a few feet away, Trump simply stared, unsmiling. Some have suggested it was this moment that spurred Donald Trump to run for president. For his part, observers say President Obama has been more than irritated with that whole experience. I think it, it wounded him. I think it really enraged his wife. And she's mentioned that before uh, in public. In fact, she did so on the campaign trail in the final weeks uh, of this race. Um, you can be sure that that was on President Obama's mind. It was probably on President-elect Trump's mind when they were talking there.